How you doing everybody? Nick DiVirgilio here and today's video is about this Dunnett Classic Monoply Maple Snare Drum. Ron Dunnett hails from our neighbors to the north up in Canada, and he's been making drums for well over 25 years now. He was, been, he was a player back in the day, and he just wasn't happy with a lot of the gear that he was getting and the way the drums were built, so he just started building drums himself. Hot rodding drums, doing edges, and just making things his own way. And he's come up with some beautiful instruments over the years, and this monoply is, is one of those for sure. This is one steam bent piece of wood Steam bent by Ron himself. It has some reinforcement rings inside it as well to keep it round for life. It's a fantastic drum with lots of great features. Let me get to some of those details with you right now. Like I just mentioned, this is one steam bent piece of wood. So it's different than your normal plywood type of shell. Those are great, have, have their space in the drum world for sure. Lots of fantastic drums are made out of plywood. But a single piece of wood like this monoply just gives the drum great resonance and tone that kind of never fails, it never goes away. You get these George Way double flanged hoops on the top and bottom. George Way is an iconic old American drum brand and it just gives this drum great resonance. Let me play it for you a little bit more. Really cool and fat sounding rim shots with these George Way hoops on this Dunnett monoply snare. Get a really good side sticks down as well. So much fun to play and it's really musical man. It really and it's very inspiring to play as well. Like I mentioned, lots of really cool features on this drum. One is the vent hole. Now, most drums have a traditional vent hole, which is just a hole, usually where the badge is, right? That lets the air in and out. But with this drum, you can go air flowing through the drum or no air flowing through the drum, whatever you like. Then the, without the air flowing through the drum, it just tightens up the drum a little bit. And that happens right over here on the butt plate side of the strainer. Here's the butt plate right here, and here is the vent knob. Now, right now it's closed all the way, and this is the sound of the drum you're getting. Still resonates, still rings out. There's no dampening on the drum right now, so it still has all those features. But if you want just a little bit of air, loosen it a little bit, or if you want a lot of air flowing through the drum, open it all the way. It does stop, you can't pull the knob all the way off, so it'll stop when it's gone it's, as far as it can go. And here's what it sounds like with the vent hole all the way open. Now you're probably going, Nick, I didn't really hear much of a difference there, and it is slight, but it is definitely doing something. So I'm going to play it right now with my left hand, I'm going to just crack some rim shots, and then I'll close the, well it's all the way open now, and then I'll make it all the way closed. See if you can hear the difference. Here we go. It is definitely doing something. It's just drying up the drum just a little bit by closing up that vent hole. It's a great feature to have. Let me show you one of the great things about this drum, and that's the throw-off and strainer. It's Ron Dunnett's classic R4 throw-off. It has a really, has a lot of really cool features. One feature is that it spins to wherever you need it. 
and it works the same no matter what position you, you have it in. That just means if you have the throw off on your right side, you could spin it so it's closer to your body. If you have the throw off on your left side, put it the other way. If you have it right down the center, you can have it right down the center wherever you want. It's super easy to use. You adjust the snare wire tension right there. And one of the coolest features about this throw off is this. You can detach the snare wires without having to unhook them with the lug screws right here. Put the strainer in the off position, open, and then you just pull outwards. And it's disconnected. That is super awesome, if I may say so myself. It does the same feature on the other side as well. Okay, so you can get new snare wires, attach them, and just hook it back up. Another very special feature about these Dunnett snare drums is the snare wires and the snare bed. Now, for those of you who don't know, a snare bed is the part of the shell where the wires touch. And what they do is that they shave off a little bit, right? So the snare wires can lay flat on the top head. Even metal drums have a snare bed. Ron Dunnett makes his snare beds really deep, deeper than most other snare drum manufacturers, and that makes it so you're able to use these big, wide, 42-strand snare wires, and they lay flat all the way across. So you're gonna get really nice sensitivity and great snap because you have these 42 strands of snare wire across your resonant head. The lugs on this drum are really nice, just low mass, tube lugs, have a great look on this maple shell here. I'm really digging Ron's badge as well. It just jumps off this natural maple color of the, of the shell here and it's silver finish. Very nice looking. On the opposite side of that other round badge, you get the Dunnett script badge. All right, now I'm gonna take the head off the top of the drum and show you this beautiful shell from the inside. Okay, the head is off the top of the drum now and you can really see how beautifully well-made and crafted this drum is. The natural color of the maple steam bent shell here with its reinforcement rings and these gorgeous edges. It's a little bit rounded on the back side, on the outside of the shell, and sharp enough to get really nice contact with the drum head going down into the drum shell. Just beautiful. Now Ron hand builds all of his drums, okay? There's no CNC machines or any of that kind of stuff going into his drums. He his hands are in the crafting of these drums. So he signs every one he makes, and this one also has the date of when it was built, 10-31-2017, this particular drum. There's also another badge on the inside here, and it's just on the back side of the Dunnett script badge. It's on the outside of the drum. Last thing I wanna show you about the inside of this drum is, again, this is really low mass. All the hardware on this shell is very minimal, and you could tell by just the lack of screws that are touching the wood and holding on the lugs. One thing I forgot to mention about the lugs on this particular drum is that there's only eight lugs on this drum. Most snare drums usually have 10 lugs, so having two less, just the eight, just gives that, the drum that much more room to breathe. All right, before I close off this video about this great monoply snare drum from Ron Dunnett, I wanna let you know that it ships with this great bag from Ahead. It has the Dunnett logo right here on the front, and it has this really nice cushy red Lining on the inside is going to keep your drum nice and warm and safe, going in and out of clubs, in and out of your car, wherever you're taking it. It's a really nice extra feature you get from buying this snare drum. All right, everybody, this is the Danette Classic Mono Ply 6.5 by 14 Maple Snare Drum, a beautiful sounding and beautiful playing drum that I encourage you to check out if you want to add another drum to your snare drum collection. If you want any more information about this Danette drum or any other Danette product, just contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks a lot for watching.